Hey guys, welcome to CatchJitsu.com on YouTube. We'll go to my website, TheCombatSystem.com. Guys, I did an unboxing video, very uh, detailed, on the PPQ Subcompact, which very well could be the best, lightest, decent capacity uh, CCW carry firearm there is. Does it beat a P365? Does it beat a Glock 26? Watch my videos and then you decide and I'll even do some comparison videos in the future perhaps. Today I wanted to just do a video on talking about sights comparison between plastic, metal, phosphorescent and night sights to true tritium. Do a little bit on that and then I'm going to talk about magazine and magazine compatibility or incompatibility, uh, what the manual says and what really might be going on. So here's my 5 inch PPQ. I got the 15 round mag in it. Here is the subcompact with the 10 round plus pinky extender that comes in the LE version where you can buy it separate. Uh, I'm not sure if you can possibly get free pinky extenders from Walder like you can from Smith & Wesson, which would be cool, but um, half passport will travel. Should this be James Bond new gun? Definitely. If they're gonna recast James Bond, put this in there. Get a real firearm in James Bond's hands. I mean. James Bond's got to keep up with the times, man. Um, you know, no, 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 30, 25 ACP, then 32 PP. Uh, at, you know, it's not the PPQ. That's not good. Um, or what PPK? Excuse me. And then a 380 PPK. K. Let's let's get something real there. Uh, movie industry as fight coordinator, stunt coordinator, stuff like that. Let's try and make that happen, guys. I also do stunts in the industry. So. Um, Let's talk about sights first, and then we'll go into magazines, guys. So, you see the standard plastic, kind of too wide, kind of crappy rear on the PPQ. I love PPQs, but the standard models come with, and this is even an LE model, and yet it came with all plastic. And yet, here's an LE model that came with metal phosphorescent. Are they listening, or is it because of imp importation of the slides and stupid laws, even though it's not tritium? I'm not sure. You know, this is made in Germany, but, you know, it's got America, is it assembled, you know, is it assembled more in America? Let's see what this one says, I don't even know. So this has got made in Germany, Fort Smith, is that Arkansas, with the DE markings. Let's check this out, these guns are unloaded, I did not just muzzle my forehead, I mean I did, but it's unloaded. No, this is the same markings. But why did one come with plastic and one come with metal? Not exactly sure, unless if they're listening and doing the right thing now. Plastic, plastic sucks. Um, I have the, I replaced this with a front Meprolite night sight, which is pretty good. Though it did change my point of impact, though everyone said it wouldn't. But maybe that's because it's a five inch, and then a four inch, and a three and a half. This is really, was really for a three and a half inch PP, uh, uh, P99 compact. So it's really for a P99 compact, and then everyone says, well, it's basically almost the same height you can put a, on a 4 inch. People said it want to change the point of impact. I think it did because this gun shoots high after 7 or 10 yards. Like at 15, it definitely shoots high. Uh, at 7 yards, is dead on with this setup. Uh, maybe on a 4 inch would be completely fine. Uh, but I like to have a front night sight or phosphorescent or something. Guys, um, that's Meprolite. It's pretty cheap. Um, instead of, you know, expensive full set Trigicons, just do the front night sight, in my opinion. You see there, it was for P99, PPQ. There's the SKU, 18801. And if you go to a website, like an optics website, they'll tell you that's what to replace, even for the um, new subcompact. That's what some of the websites say. And now it may work, but I think something else may work better. Let's look at the front plastic. Um, look how shitty that is, kind of, because that can get scuffed up, cut, beat up when it drops to the ground or something. Um, I don't really hate a plastic rear, but a plastic front, eh, not too. You know, the front sight's what you're going to need to save your life in the real situation, so no, I'm not really digging that. Um, okay, let's look at the phosphorescence. Just showing you both pistols are unloaded. YouTube safety Nazis. Ha! 
eventually, it's going to be hard to find a left-handed holster other than a pocket holster for this. But, you know, eventually I would like to dress in a suit and do my version of John Wick setup. Um, okay, let's look at... Now, these are metal. And I said it yesterday in the shooting or in the unboxing video, they look a more narrow in the rear. Now, I don't have calipers. But it sure seems to me that this was much better and it's more narrow in the rear. Much bigger dots, much better for combat, much better for CCW. But that rear, which people complain about for the plastic sights, it, the, the metal, this does not look as wide. Now I'm not sure if this is the same, the metal sights that come on the PPSM2. Um, not the PPQ, the PPSM2 as well. I think it very well may be the same uh, set of sights. Now the front dot, also very big, metal, I believe. Ah, much, much, much better. Now, like I said, they will tell you to replace with this, but if you go to Walder's website for PPQ SC accessories, talk about some of the things that list an a holster which I've never tried but I'm going to see if I can get those to test and evaluate we'll talk more about that in a minute hopefully Bravo concealment will send me these two holsters talked about that in my unboxing and my first shot first impressions video and I have separate videos first shots at, at 15 yards doing fast five doing weak side one-handed making sure I had perfect function yesterday in all three magazines Speaking of magazines, there you go. Speaking of sights, I've never had a Dawson Precision. I know people like it. Meprolite True Glow, I'm sure I would love, but that's a little expensive for me. Um, so the front Meprolite Night Sight replacement. But see, they do not list the 18, the 18801. They list the 18802. And if you click over to the 18802, to Meprolite Sight, what it says are, these are the new fix set for the PPS pistols. New. So I, maybe there was an old metal um, adjustable. It says new fix set for the PPS M2. Now, the dots on this are bigger, and the dots on the subcompact are bigger, which I much, much prefer. Also, the length of the front sight is different than the 18801s which you can see over here on an optics website. I'm not going to say the name because YouTube is censoring the First Amendment and having politicalness. But, um, so here you go. Here's the one that's on my 5-inch. Okay, and this, the dot does seem a little bit smaller and the length of the sight is different. Now the height, I really want to know if the height and the width is the same for point of aim, point of impact. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking while they're is right on their website and this will be even better this will work which i have and i could swap out this is even better which i want to confirm because this isn't what this optic site is saying it's it's answering everyone to go to this and it's not telling everyone that's asking about the subcompact to go to this it's saying this is for the pps it's not listing the ppq but i believe this is what you want if anyone knows please help me and the price difference is only 32 versus 38 and if that gets me a bigger dot that's actually more compatible with the phosphorescent rear and i'm fine with that i don't think i, I need to replace and i'm sure the phosphorescent will do pretty good i see it if it would last seven hours last night it did not i don't know if it lasts four i don't know if it lasts five i don't know if it's less than that um, i'm not sure how long um, being charged up with the tack light. Now my tack light, the battery needs replacement and it's not like the ultimate lumens, it's a cheap one. So uh, maybe like a really good light would, would get more lumens in there uh, right away. While I'm here guys, let's talk about pocket holsters really quick before we go to magazines. I really, really wanna try this uh, a pocket or left hand holsters and they sell this in both left hand and right. Now this hook looks very good, this kind of J hook. 
to catch on the pocket. I think this will look great for me when I wear my cargo shorts. I've been pocket carrying while well, I always you know, carry two guns. I've been pocket carrying LCP um, with an extra mag in the left pocket and a um, MMP 9C in the right pocket when I wear shorts, when I wear uh, Walmart cargo shorts. Uh, the PPQSC was hoping to replace that because it's quite a bit lighter by like over four ounces. So, like 4.6 ounces later. So, um, here's the order in here, the order page if it loads. You can see I got that picked out. You can do left or right. Now, that's kind of unfortunate because I like to do both sometimes. Um, but hopefully I can get my hands on both and test them out. Depending on what I want my carry setup to be. Um, you know, do I want my LCP in the left pocket with an extra mag, which gives me 16 extra 380 rounds with extended mag in it, and uh, 10 plus 1 and 9 millimeter in my right pocket? That's a pretty light load, which is actually very easy to do. No, it's not too much. No, it's not being impractical or paranoid. So you never know which which hand can access. You never know what you're carrying or fighting off or fending a blade or whatever. Um, I like uh, I like the Santos filter, but unfortunately it's not listed. And the one for the Glock 26 slash for my MMP 9C, it really was it's good, but it's not giving quite enough cover uh, trigger coverage that I would like. And then they have this bigger one, this bigger model. This one lists the uh, PPS, so that's the one that I think I have. Yeah, this is the one I have. But then they have a bigger model, but really for the Glock 17. It's not for the Glock 19 that will fit it. So um, it lists the full size P99, doesn't even list the compact. So you're gonna have extra of this and it's gonna kind of ride too high and be more noticeable, I think. And maybe have a bit of the butt stick out, not sure. You know, depending on what pants you wear. So let's go uh, finish up with the sights and go to uh, magazines. Guys, I'm gonna hit the lights for a second. Got a little ambient light coming in the window there. So the phosphos before the video, I charged it up 30 seconds on the front and 30 seconds on the rear also on the front. I charged it a little bit with the tack light. So that's what the phospho sights look at. They're very good, probably good enough uh, in a holster and stuff, but under a bed you should be charging it up before you go to bed. But I kind of would like to replace that front night sight is the point and have that on the rear and have the dots be the same size. Um, uh, so hopefully, you know, the Walters website's right, maybe I'll do that. I don't feel a huge need, but maybe I'll do that and get those 18802, I think it is, on the front. Okay, now let's talk magazines. Specific magazines for the subcompact. Different. I think it unlocks the slide quicker for recoil management. I talked a lot about that. The lockup time, I believe, is less. The slide velocity is more higher than the standards. And the magazine springs are different because of the different cyclic rate or slide rate. So, um, the velocity of the slide, so, uh, upon firing. So, um, guys, they really say subcompact, use the subcompact magazines. This is a 10 rounder with the pinky mag. 10 round flush. 15. Now, let's see what the manual actually says about the magazines. To avoid damaging the extractor. So you can't use a regular magazine and slam it home. It says you might void the warranty, but you could probably use a regular magazine at the range and just do not slam it home. Don't do competitions, don't do, don't do something where you're doing emergency reloads with regular magazines, because that is what will, slamming home will hurt the extractor. But you see here, it does kind of say you could use the adapter on a basically saying a regular PPQM series magazine. 
So even though the magazines will fit in there without the adapter, this is clearly saying use the adapter, but it's not necessarily saying don't use the adapter on a nine uh, regular magazine. Though it does kind of warn that that could cause functioning problems again because of the slide rate. Even though people have reported it really hasn't, I wouldn't carry with the regular magazines. But if I was law enforcement, depending on if you did some testing, you know, if you carried both, if you had a regular on hip and maybe the SC and an ankle holster or under your vest, something like that, um, could it be used in an emergency situation? Probably. 100% reliable? No, maybe it's like 98% reliable. But that probably very much depends on the ammunition you're using and if you're not slamming at home, uh, etc. So more on magazines here. Now these look like 10 rounders, so I'm guessing the one on the right without the cutouts, I'm guessing that's from a uh, P99C. So, but there's warning here, it's not very specific. Specific magazine. Do not interchange magazines from one model pistol to another. But I'm guessing that's for the 99C on the right. I really don't know. Because it doesn't have the mag cutouts, with the, which they're putting there. The specific mag cutouts, which would be button release versus, uh, I guess, paddle release. Uh, let's see. Let's see. One more thing here. Failure to use a particular type of weather magazine specifically specified for your model and caliber of pistol may result in a malfunction. So we're saying, yo homies, the ones listed with the SC magazine will function the way they're intended to. And maybe homies you could use these, but use it with the adapter on it. But it still might have some different functioning problems because different slide rate and magazine spring that it is a different magazine spring stronger spring and the SCs I believe so I won't do fully insert them today but I know that this can without the thing again do not slam at home could that work at the range perhaps now this is a 15 with a plus 2 so it's a 17 That doesn't work with a 17, so if you have a plus two base, McGar base on it, or even from the factory coming that way, that's not going to work even with the extender. Hello. Like it's alluding to in the manual, though, you could probably use the regular M series. Whoop, this should have been cooler. M series. Without a problem, because I have the adapter on it, so I didn't hurt the internal extractor. Why the F? They switched to an internal extractor versus external. They said to get them out faster, but I think that was a total bean counter thing. Um, unless that helped functioning some way or something, uh, Walder engineers, I hope that wasn't a stupid bean counter thing. And Guys, do, do right. Don't do dumb things like that to save a couple cents. We're talking firearms here. We're not, you know talking other things that your life isn't dependent on um so they shouldn't have messed with the extractor in my opinion unless they unless they had to because of the cyclic rate and slide weight and something like that so um yeah this is a canic mag 20 rounder will it fit yes is there a little wobble yes now regular mags versus the 15 rounder versus the other one they look identical to me but hammer striker measured them I think that looks identical to me. The followers. But Hammer Striker measured the uh, circumference to the notches. And are they the same magazine but different notch cuts maybe? Do those holes look different? The, but the circumference was a little less with the SC. There was a difference. Like 0.70 versus 0.84. Which is weird, because they look identical, and they're made in the same McGar Italian factory, I believe. I can't tell if those cutouts are any different size, so maybe it's the same magazine with different cutouts. 
Um, but anyway, guys, that's that's it. The magazines, sights, basically get metal, get metal phosphorescent if you can. Get metal phosphorescent and add night sights if you can. Plastic rear, a little too wide. Plastic front, I definitely really don't want to deal with that little thing that looks like a, a, a knock on a counter might really gouge it or something. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this babble and maybe cleared some things up or helped you possibly order, guys. If you have an experience with A-Holster, let me know. If you know a DeSantis that fits, is in between the two that I mentioned, if there's a DeSantis that will actually fit it, let me know. Or Sticky Holster. I really haven't looked at Romero yet. I've never had one. If there's Romero or any other company out there, let me know. Um, if you're having success with a certain holster, let me know. Hopefully, I'll be trying out Bravo, maybe even Dara. Um, uh, anyway, guys, please subscribe. Please thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers.